Teenage sex, Catholic guilt, and old-fashioned AOL chat rooms are all part of director Karen Maine's new movie, Yes, God, Yes. So get out your rosary beads and Bibles while I explain how a Catholic girl from a small town in Iowa unintentionally finds herself having an emotional and sexual epiphany. Yes, God, Yes is a coming-of-age story for a teenage girl from a conservative Catholic family in Iowa. Alice, played by Natalia Dyer, is a 16-year-old girl in a Catholic school where the priest who runs the school teaches the students that sex is only for married couples. Consequently, premarital sexual urges are to be repressed and ignored because acting on them can lead to the eternal damnation of hell. We are called on to be chaste until we are married, and that means no sex with yourself or anyone else until you stand at that altar and you say, I do, or else it is damnation for all eternity. Despite this, Alice is having trouble ignoring her libido and, purely by coincidence, finds herself in an AOL chat room having cyber sex with an anonymous man. At school, a rumor is spreading that Alex has had sex with a classmate named Wade, played by Parker Weirling, but the rumor isn't true. Nevertheless, the boys in her school tease her about it, and the teachers criticize her for having done it. This becomes apparent to her when a teacher tells Alice to refrain from further sex because her body is a gift from God. Alice notices that some students in the school wear a pendant on a necklace with an intricate cross-shaped design. When she asks a girl where she got it, she says she received it when she went on a retreat run by the school and that it was an emotionally moving experience for her. The retreat is called Kirkos. It's a thinly veiled reference to the Kairos retreats run by many Christian organizations throughout the world where teenagers discuss their emotions and participate in discussions of Christian teachings. Alice notices that students who have been on the retreat tend to receive favorable treatment from the teachers, so she decides to attend. However, she's disappointed when she discovers the same stifling environment that exists in her school and with even more rigid rules, because Father Murphy, played by Timothy Simons, insists on collecting all of the participants' watches and cell phones. Don't worry, you won't be needing a watch this weekend anyway, because you're on Jesus' time. While at the retreat, she develops a crush on Chris, one of the student leaders played by Wolfgang Novogratz. The two eventually share a romantic kiss, but being a good Catholic, Chris pulls away to remain chaste. Also, Alice secretly witnesses Father Murphy masturbating to pornography on his computer and sees Nina, another student leader played by Alicia Bowe, giving a blowjob to one of the other young leaders. When she tells this to her best friend, Laura, played by Francesca Reale, Laura thinks she's lying and decides to end their friendship. What's up? Nina asked me to sit with her, so I don't want to make her wait. I saw Nina giving Adam a blowjob. What? Yeah, in the woods after lunch. Why do you think it's okay to keep making things up? They're not making this up. All these experiences profoundly confuse and depress Alice, so during a nighttime sing-along, she sneaks away to a nearby lesbian bar to drink. There she meets Gina, the owner, played by Susan Blackwell. Gina strikes up a conversation with Alice about Catholicism and says she came from a Catholic family as well. Gina confides that her Catholic upbringing once made her think she was going to hell for eating gumdrops during Lent. Alice says she's worried that her thoughts of sex will send her to hell as well. Gina takes Alice back to the retreat on her motorcycle and recommends that she go to college on the west or east coast to escape the stifling environment of her small Iowa town. Alice's conversation with Gina has an emotional impact on Alice and the way she sees herself. Soon thereafter, Alice addresses the others at the retreat during a personal speech that all participants are required to give where she urges them not to judge others for their quirks because she believes that's what Jesus wants. But look, we're all hiding. 
exciting stuff. All kinds of stuff. What if we just tried to be honest and to treat each other with respect? Yes, God, Yes is short for a full-length movie. Its runtime is only one hour and 18 minutes. It barely gives us enough time to care about the main characters. Consequently, the plot focuses on Alice's internal thoughts as she wrestles with her libido and how people perceive her. Her conversation with Gina, the lesbian bar owner, shows her that her faith and her community are holding back her emotional, sexual, and intellectual growth. By talking to Gina, she gets the opportunity to view her community from the perspective of an outsider. What she sees is the hypocrisy, excessive judgment, and adherence to an impractically rigid moral code that have been stunting her development as a human being. Good night, and always remember that it's important to vote in a democracy. Please click like, share, and subscribe. Thanks very much.